Avid fishermen and women, this next story is for you. If the fish aren't biting at your local fishing hole, you might want to turn to the internet for help. The Mass Wildlife Division of Fisheries and Wildlife site to be specific. Every year, Mass Wildlife oversees a coordinated effort to raise and release hundreds of thousands of fish into roughly 500 rivers, streams, lakes, and ponds. You can track what waterways have been stocked by visiting their website. The site won't tell you where they're going, that wouldn't be fair exactly, but it will tell you where they've been. Producer Dave Fraser hooked up with the trout stocking crew from the Connecticut Valley District recently and shares this story. What might look a little odd at first is actually a carefully orchestrated program conducted every spring by Mass Wildlife's Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. It's called trout stocking. After the winter snow and ice have melted and the water conditions are favorable, crews from five different districts across the state Perfect. Beauty. That's it. load up their trucks and head to predetermined waterways to stock them with brook, brown, rainbow, and tiger trout. The maximum time of the year in the spring, we may have as many as a quarter of a million fish on station. 400 rainbows and uh, 400 browns. And we will stock out 100 and 50,000 approximately every spring and maybe another 10 or 12,000 in the fall. The day begins at the fish hatchery in Sunderland. The 45-acre facility has a number of rectangular ponds called raceways, each covered with nets to protect them from predators. Any guesses as to how many fish are in here? Uh, there's a good 18,300. So this is the time of year where we're getting new young of the year fish we call fingerlings that are only about one or two inches. And we function here as a rearing facility where we grow those out from that small one or two inches long to two pounds big. And we can do so just about two years. There's some 15, 16 inches up in easily. The trucks have individual tanks which help to sort the fish based on species and what water supply they are going to. We try to make it as, as stress free as possible and in doing so when we put them on the tank of course they're in a dark environment they'll calm down and we also add oxygen to the water. We have bottled oxygen on, on board so we really try to optimize uh, the conditions and reduce the stress uh, on our fish during the ride to wherever they're going as much as possible. Perfect. On this day, Connecticut okay, Valley District block. Biologist Brian Kelleher and technician Chris Connors, along with staff from the hatchery, loaded a mix of 14-inch brown trout and 12-inch rainbows. They then headed out to four locations, Peppermill Pond in Belchertown, Forest Lake in Ware, and two stops along the Ware River. So I'm one of five district biologists. I cover one of the five wildlife districts in the state. This is the Connecticut Valley District. We stock in this district about 100,000 fish. We put out 800 today. Fishing enthusiasts can track what bodies of water have been stocked by logging onto Mass Wildlife's website. There they can find a list of waterways in the district to see if they have been stocked yet or not. Kelleher says it's important not to be too forthcoming with the locations they intend to visit. We don't tell people what we're doing ahead of time, so we're avoiding the truck following. If they see the truck um, driving down the road or leaving the hatchery, sometimes we'll be followed. Um, we're definitely greeted usually with uh, happy faces, happy people, giving thumbs up out the window on the highway. The time spent at each location is relatively quick. A big net. The fish are scooped out of the tank by net and quickly run down to the water's edge and literally tossed in. It's as simple as that. We try to go pretty quickly to minimize the amount of time the fish are out of the water because there's no, there's no water in the net. The fish can't breathe air without water. So we try to go kind of quickly for the safety of the fish. Both rainbow and brown trout are not native to Massachusetts, and so the hope that these fish will spawn or grow is not the intent. The goal is to provide recreational opportunities to the thousands of anglers who enjoy the sport of fishing. Every year uh, we really look forward to this. Um, we've done a lot of hard work to try to get the fish to this point. It's something that uh, young, both young and old can uh, enjoy and participate in. And so uh, when they're getting excited, we're getting excited. It's a good time to get out there. And so this is a recreational opportunity that's been created over 100 years ago for the public to get out and enjoy and take advantage uh, the of the natural environment that's out here. 
and so it's done primarily for recreational purposes. We have folks that come out and just like to catch and release them, let them go. Some people enjoy taking them home to eat. They are delicious, uh, but it's really all about getting them out there.